Eurostar has been at the center of a disagreement between France and the UK as the company is hit hard by the pandemic, but an expert has told Express.co.uk more European countries could get involved in the row. Eurostar short-term future has been secured after lenders agreed to allow the company to refinance its £400 million debt. A group of banks, including NatWest, reportedly agreed to the deal regarding the loans that were due to be repaid this summer. The rollout of vaccines has also sparked hopes the company can soon get back to its level of operation pre-pandemic soon, however, with the threat of coronavirus variants still a factor, it is possible Eurostar may yet require further state aid. Disagreements over a bailout have already seen politicians in France and the UK clash. There were calls for the British government to step in and help the rail service, but Transport Secretary Grant Shapps rebuffed these demands, saying Eurostar was not ours to rescue. However, Professor Ian Begg of the London School of Economics told Express the Netherlands and Belgium could get involved in the discussions. He said, don't forget that Eurostar serves not just Paris and London, but also Brussels and Amsterdam. The Belgian and Dutch governments have an interest in this too. There's an argument of mutual interest. Yes, the game of chicken would go on to try and pass the buck and make sure somebody else pays first, but if it really comes to a crunch I think all sides would want to do something to ensure there's a viable rail service that connects the continent. Dot dot. And then comes the question of whether it's done through rescuing Eurostar or letting the market put something else in. Another option, according to Professor Begg, is for the UK to buy back its stake in the company. He said Prime Minister Boris Johnson would even consider the move as an option to help Eurostar. Professor Begg said, one question that could be asked is whether there is a funding mechanism through which the British taxpayer is protected. Or it could be a reversal of what David Cameron did in 2015, and take a new equity stake. That may be the sensible long-term option for the Brits, to renew its ownership of the enterprise. It's an option, but there aren't any easy options in this because there will be a howl if taxpayers' money is used to shore up a French company.